The 8th edition of Global Customer Engagement Forum and Awards was recently held in Mumbai by ACEF. The theme this year focused on artificial intelligence for enterprises accelerate 10x. The ACEF program is organized by a team of professionals and is guided by the advisory members from branding, marketing and creative agencies based in India, US, Australia, Singapore, UAE and Sri Lanka. Without AI and ML, uh, I believe competitors uh, and everybody for that matter will be beaten and if we adopt it fast enough as marketers here are doing, probably uh, we'll be succeeding and becoming market leaders in the world. I see there's a drastic change uh, happening across the ecosystem. It's the agency who are more driving AI, uh, software, technology related solutions. I think it's the client who is pushing them because things have really moved and uh, not much of uh, digital or technology events happen uh, all the time. Uh, I think they are doing a good job. We have been a part of ASAP since the last three years and we have been seeing it grow year on year over time. In fact, ASAP has uh, it's a great platform to learn, collaborate, meet with like-minded people, people who you can actually discuss what's going on in the industry. Since last eight years, we've seen a re real reinvention and uh, also a positive development in the uh, entire concept of how uh, to bring the award which are truly engaging the audiences and I think they are doing a great job in understanding different avenues uh, where consumers are engaged. Experts from marketing, marketing agencies and branding share their knowledge and experience with the audience. The event kicked off with a presentation by keynote speaker Vishal Singhal from Cellstrat on how enterprise future depends on AI innovation. Four of most efficient ways AI can be deployed in enterprises. So use of AI is a solution from likes of Amazon, Google, IBM, etc. Uh, but then they are very vertical, vertical inclined, very uh, costly to use. Collaborative, collaboration with third party AI service providers, but they are also, uh, there is a problem that if you want AI in HR, you will have to go to one vendor. AI in finance, you will have to go to another vendor. So how many vendors you will be managing? So that's a problem. Third, create your own uh, ML or AI team, which is a preferred method by large companies, but as I said, they are difficult to, found, to be found, hired and retained. Last but not the least, uh, AI research team, agnostic to sector, agnostic to your use case. Very few are there like Googles and Amazons of the world who are, or maybe make my trip of the world, who are able to create a research team just for the heck of it. Rajiv Pandey from Tata Motors in his presentation addressed how brands can get ready to use artificial intelligence. How brands can optimize, curate, create ads as they go along, personalize ads for the persona. Second, how a personalized chatbot can be used further to enhance customer engagement and experience. Third, Folks start focusing on voice and in a couple of years video as well. The content voice is the next big thing apart from mobile, which is going to really, already it is shaking the world, but we'll start doing that. And fourth, think of how AI and augmented reality combination can be used to enhance your product experience. Thank you so much. Abraham Thomas from Reliance Broadcast Network spoke on the use of artificial intelligence across media and entertainment. The way I'm seeing is artificial intelligence is already revolutionizing m &E in content creation, in metadata and context contextualizing that uh, data and the hyper-personalization. Spotify and Netflix are great examples of how well this can be done. But wait a minute, I think we need to respect the human factor. I believe that any organization where the work that can be done by machines should be done by machines because it drives efficiency. But work that can only be done by humans need to be done by the human. Harish Nayak and Fabian Coven of Posterscope Group jointly delivered a talk on innovation with AI in OOH. Today, as we, in, you know, uh, kind of improve our intelligence, the intelligence of the screens are, are also Im improving. And uh, artificial intelligence on screens are now be able to detect facial expressions 
and tell you whether a, a, a kind of an audience is angry or sad. They are able to tell you the gender till uh, an approximation of almost 85 percent. They are also able to tell you age uh, with a difference of about six years. So screens are becoming intelligent. We are creating a dashboard just like double click uh, which is called ROH uh, and trying to bring in programmatic out of home where all these possibilities are there. Uh, we have already connected roughly around about 22,000 screens in India uh, and today uh, a client can easily do a programmatic by basic basis, uh, basic eight triggers right from time of the day to uh, locations to events to a social chatter and very soon uh, uh, I think we should be able to uh, connect 50,000 screens in India and become double click in India for the out of home space. So that's a dashboard which we are planning to uh, do. Tax Security Solutions founder Trishneet Arora emphasized on the need of enterprise security in one framework. What exactly we do is we penetrate into uh, large enterprises uh, IT assets to recognize their security weaknesses before any fraudulent hacker can use them adversely. So we can you know, help them to pass the vulnerabilities and make their system more secure. Though we are not aware how uh, your digital assets are important in, in the cyber world. In the black hat world, where is a market, cyber market, where somebody is selling your photos or your credit card details, which is more expensive than anything else. So the idea building ease of enterprise security in one framework is the same. The person, any company has to, if he wants anything related to cyber security, he doesn't have to go outside and look for anything else. Everything should be in one framework. So we are building AI in that and we are collecting a lot of data. So we will be able to tell you if, if any attack is about to be taken place in the future or in your organization, we'll tell you before it happens. So this is what we are trying to do and we, I belong to tax security. So that's that's all I think. Thank you. Alvin Jen, CEO of NetBiz Systems, spoke on the use of artificial intelligence for customer engagement. Uh, in the coming times, what we are seeing is the ability of an organization to recognize, personalize, and act in real time to the changing customer needs. I mean, to earn their loyalty. I mean, that is the that is the end goal and. Uh, you know, that's what we call AI. I mean, where we are able to use the data, we are able to identify the customer need, we are able to personalize and act in real time with them. I mean, the way the world is changing, we have to be inclusive to become exclusive. So what I mean by that is collect a lot of this data, curate this data, structure this data, segment this data so that you can make a better customer experience uh, for your customers and uh, when you make them inclusive when you get them into your uh, when you make this entire experience for them the purchase experience seamless and frictionless you will have a very loyal customer with you in future so customer engagement leading to a great customer experience we all need to look at data AI which is the overall encapsulating uh, format for a better customer experience. The 8th edition of ACEF Global Customer Engagement Forum and Awards recognize brands, agencies, marketers for their campaigns, creatives, activities using various mediums of marketing. 762 entries were received from 220 organizations across the globe. Take a look at the highlights of the 8th ACEF Global Customer Engagement Forum and Awards. It is time for individual award. And the individual award for Consumer Connect Professional of the Year. It goes to Kaushik Chakravarti, Director and CEO, Enhanced Consumer Connect Private Limited. Next category, most entertaining celebrity radio jock of the year. And the award goes to Karan Johar for 104.8-ish 
for calling Karan season 2. As Mr. Karan Job is not present to receive the award, we would be showing you all a video message of him. Hey, thanks ACF. Thank you for acknowledging work across all platforms. This is truly amazing and a big honor for me. Thank you for honoring radio and thank you for just giving me the pleasure of holding this award for actually doing what I love to do. Thank you guys. Most entertaining celebrity radio jock of the year, 104.8 Ishq FM and Karan Johar it is. And next category, most path breaking celebrity jock of the year. And the award goes to Karina Kapoor Khan for 104.8 ish. Once again for the campaign, What Women Want. And as Karina Kapoor Khan would be able to be present here to collect the award, we have a small video message. I can't believe that I've actually won an award for being uh, the best jockey. I think we won so many awards in terms of entertainers, in terms of you know acting, but I think for the first time to receive this honor, I think it's it's absolutely special. I'd especially like to thank ACEF and of course my most uh, supportive team and crew at Ishq FM for actually making this happen. Next category, most admired RJ with international fame and it goes to Aravinda Lokunge, DJ Ara from Siata FM from Sri Lanka. Since DJ Ara can't be with us, we have a video message all the way from Sri Lanka. I'm truly honored to receive this gold award today. Let me thank ACEF, Global Customer Engagement Awards team, for this opportunity. We Sri Lankans are grieving as a nation. My precious motherland is brutally injured in every sense. Therefore, I believed it's my duty to remain at home during this difficult time. I congratulate all the winners who would shine tonight. Moving on to our next category, RJ Jodi of the Year. And the first place for RJ Jodi of the Year goes to RJ Salil Archana, Radio City. Next category, RJ of the Year. It is RJ Praveen from Red FM, Kolkata. <laughs> Next category, best use of social message for customer engagement goes to Mobitel for Suicide Prevention Agency Credit Leo Burnett, Sri Lanka, all the way from Sri Lanka. And next up, we move on to our Grand Prix Award category, Most Admired Campaign for Customer Engagement. And the gold goes to TV18 Broadcast Limited for News18 India Sabse Bada Dangal Viewer Engagement Campaign. Next category, Most Admired Creative Campaign of the Year. And the award goes to Yashraj Films and Ranveer Singh for the Experimental Art Project. And as we couldn't have Mr. Ranveer Singh here amongst us, we have a small video message from Mr. Ranveer Singh. Simba is a film that's very special to me very very close to my heart it's actually one of my favorite films from my own filmography so winning this award for um, the film's marketing is something that feels really really wonderful uh, thank you asf for recognizing our innovative social media campaign you know it it gave the film reach it um, generated disruptive content with you know young people once again thank you asf next category social media brand of the year we have joined first place shared between Switzerland Tourism for Hashtag In Love With Switzerland and Commercial Bank of Ceylon PLC from Sri Lanka.
Moving on, most admired customer engaged brand and the award goes to Axis Bank Limited for Evolve Pan India SME Knowledge Series. Congratulations. Next category, most admired digital marketing agency for customer engagement, Tonic Worldwide it is. Moving on to the next category, most admired OOH Agency of the Year. And it goes to Rappo Outdoor Advertising Private Limited. And moving on to our next category, most admired newspaper for customer engagement. And the prize for most admired newspaper for customer engagement goes to Danik Jagran. <laughs> and moving on to our next category, most admired radio station for customer engagement. And let's bring the roof down. It goes to Red FM. Congratulations, most admired radio station for customer engagement. The USP of the 8th edition of ACEF Global Customer Engagement Forum and Awards was the introduction of excellence in artificial intelligence. The winners for this category were selected through a rigorous jury process. I look for uh, uh, innovation. Next, in what I look for is, is it really giving value to the end user? Because you can't win an award because just because it is good and nice and it doesn't affect the user. And the third most important is that, is it really original? Or you are trying to use something of the Western and trying to use in India. So I, I, I see these three quality and based on that I do benchmark. Clearly, it was a tough task for the jury members to select the winners. The first award for leadership in artificial intelligence, best overall AI solution was presented by Ravi Kant Banga, founder and CMD Ekfirst Advertising and the winner was Teleperformance Digital Integrated Business Services for the iOptify campaign. And the first place for virtual agents and bots goes to Kenshu and Sony Live for Sony Live WhatsApp channel, your personal entertainment assistant. Congratulations and our next category, best use of AI in real estate sector. And the first place goes to Edelweiss's real estate advisory practice. Congratulations to the team. And next category, best use of AI in automation. And the first place goes to iProspect for Industrial Internet of Things. Congratulations to iProspect. Our next category, best use of AI in FinTech. And the first place goes to, once again, iProspect for hashtag Kushioka Upgrade. Moving on, next category, best use of AI in transportation and the first place goes to Mo Magic Technologies Private Limited for Uber First Drive. Next category, best use of AI in software delivery life cycle and the first place goes to Tech Mahindra for hashtag New Age Delivery. Next category, best use of AI in insurance sectors goes to PNB MetLife for Kushi, India's first AI powered insurance app.
Well, thank you so much to the beautiful audience. Thank you so much to ACA for a lovely award function. Thank you so much for coming down and raising our occasion.